I really can't believe that some of y'all think that the black characters on Sex Education didn't face any form of anti-blackness. Like, were we watching the same show or do you just not know what anti-blackness is? Because I was peeping all of it. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea and for today's video, I'm going to be discussing Sex Education. The third season just dropped and... Yeah, that's what we're going to be discussing. We're discussing the characters, maybe the plot, and just overall consensus. And yeah, just stick around. I'll have timestamps if you're interested. So, you know, click on the lines or whatever. Y'all know how they work. But yeah, I'm going to go from my favorites to my not favorites. You know, like start off good and then end off kind of wobbly, you know? So, um, the favorites, you know, were the hashtag blacks obviously like do i need to say more like i feel like um i don't know what it is but i don't know how all of a sudden netflix has not one not two not three but four black characters four and on top of that they're dark skin and on top of that there's a black woman there's an unbinary person and there's two you know cis men uh cis black men and it's just like when in history has that ever happened for netflix I'm as shocked as you are. Like, I i don't know how that happened, but I mean, I'm not going to applaud a fish for swimming. But, you know, we like that. We like that. Okay. Um. So, let's start off with the new character, Cal. Um, they're introduced in this season as a non-binary black person. And my new favorite. My new favorite. Like, what else can I say? I love their character. Um, I really wish, like, I feel like they, they're just introducing them so we can get a, you know, a feel for them. Um, and then in, like, later seasons, they're going to develop them more. And I'm just like, okay, but can we just develop them now? You know? Like, I know it's gradual, but y'all did all of this other character development for other um, characters in um, the beginning of the season. But now, like, Cal, we're just introducing them. It's just like, I want more. I want to see them more. Like, I'm interested, you know? You know, as a cis person, I can't say too much about, you know, being trans or being non-binary. But I feel like their character was written well. And they added on to the layer of them being black. So they don't have to be the, uh, you know, the spokesperson for, you know, being non-binary plus being black at the same time. Because both of them are interconnected. And I feel like they didn't make them be the you know the spokesperson of that and i just liked it i liked how they were just kind of be able to exist in a way but at the same time so there's there's this thing where so some people they're like oh there wasn't any um anti-blackness with the black characters that were just kind of existing in um this world and it's just like that's not true and that can never be true because as a black person every single interaction you have is um is related through is related through anti-blackness like they weren't just existing like the things that cal viv all of the black characters were experiencing in those um plot lines were a result of anti-blackness like you literally like it's not even subtle like the way the first instance that jackson had with hope was anti-black like it just i just don't understand how some people on twitter were just like oh they were just existing no, they were not. No, they were not. And you can literally tell the difference from Cal's character to the other non-binary white person. Like, like it's not, it's not that hard. You understand? And I really hate um, the movement of people trying to be like, oh, why can't we just get character, black characters and then ha not have them suffer? Da -da -da -da. The black experience is suffering. The black experience is suffering. The human experience is suffering. But you add blackness on top of that. It's suffering. Like, I just don't understand why y'all want to have everything nice and dandy. When the reality is, she ain't nice and dandy. Unless if you want to do fantasy world. Yes, we can do fantasy world where black people are existing as human beings. But in the real world, we're not even seen as humans. Oh, let me stop. But it's just like... The existence of humans is very complex. And then you add the layer of blackness, it's even more complex. And it's just like, let's move past the whole, I want us to be happy, luxury, da 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 Come on now. It's, let's step into reality. Um, 
that was a small little tangent I was going on, but yeah, I'm excited to see more of Cal. Um, hopefully, you know, they don't have, um, you know, have them be with the swirler. Like, I hate, like, I, they did this to my boy Eric. Like, why is it, like, the black characters, why are they, you know, in swirling relationships? Except for Viv, which I'm gonna get onto her. That's my sister right there. Um... It's just like Netflix and just Hollywood, they love to push the swirling agenda. And y'all know how I feel about swirling. But next season, I really hope to see more of Cal. Um, I love that we already stepped into their home. Like, it takes some, sometimes for black characters, we never see their homes. We never see their parents. Um, hopefully next time, in next season, we'll get to see Cal's parents, siblings, or whatever. Um, all we know is that they're from Minnesota. Like, why did you guys move here? Um, give us more background on them. Like, I really want to see more of Cal. Let's step on to Jackson, okay? I feel like in earlier seasons, they were more focused on Jackson's character development. And then now, they were just more on developing Cal and Jackson's kind of weird relationship. And we didn't see more of um, Jackson as an individual. I want to see more of him. I want to see more of his turbulations, more of who um, he is. And I know he's trying to figure himself out. They could have, you know, put some plot lines in there for him as a way, as a journey for him to, you know, find himself out. I don't know. I just wanted to see more of Jackson and, it, and it's not being tied to um, Cal that much. I mean, like, I liked the duo. I loved the duo. I loved it. I was rooting for them, okay? I was rooting for them. But, you know, I wanted to see more of Jackson. Like, I, fa I barely fa felt like I saw of him. And that was my favorite last season. Like, And I'm telling y'all, I'm on Twitter. Me and him finna get married. Like, he just don't know it yet. He just don't know it yet. But we finna get married. Like, be on the lookout. Once upon a time, I'm finna move to the UK, I will not be a UK black. That will never be me. But I'm finna move to the UK, get with him. If not him, maybe Damson. Okay, maybe Damson. Maybe both. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, you know? But yeah, let's just, that was a little tangent again. But let's move on to Eric, my brother. That's my brother right there. That's my brother from another mother. Like, that's my Rondi's brother. Like, per. Like, I'm not Rondi's, but... You know, we kind of neighbors where I'm from. But that's my brother right there, okay? Um, do I feel bad for him on um, cheating? No, I don't feel bad for uh, for Eric cheating on... Um, what's his name again? Whoever that white man was, okay? I do not feel bad for him. I said you did what you had to do. You did what you had to do. He was a bully. He was your bully. He was beating you down. And you, you gonna feel bad for cheating? Oh, baby. I was rooting for that and I hate the trope of um, Hollywood t um, taking a bully and then all of a sudden he falls in love with his victim and they live happily ever after. No, that's disgusting, that's trauma, that's literally abuse. They're like trying to um, normalize abuse. I mean, although they've been trying to normalize abuse, but it's just like, let's stop that, especially in like gay relationship. Like that's nasty, like that's nasty. Like. Can y'all stop the whole trope of if that person hates gay people, like really hates them, that means deeply down, they're, um, they're also gay. No, or they could just be just homophobic. They could just be ho straight and homophobic. Like it's not, it's, there isn't that much, you know, there is some correlation, but you know, trying to make it seem that all homophobes are secretly gay is not correct. It is totally wrong and harmful. Like, let's dead that, okay? But back to my boy Eric. Um, I love that. I love that. Um, I don't know. Like, I know he's not Nigerian. He's Rundees. I feel like they could have just made him Rundees. I don't know why they had to switch his nationality. Like, I don't know. I look, he wanted some representation for Rundees people because you barely see that. Um, but yeah, they could have just made him Rundees once again. Um, but taking him to Nigeria, you know, with his parents, I mean, with his mother, and just the trial and tribulation of being a gay black African man was just like, I loved it, I loved it. Um, it was just like, um, just like his plot line and just his relationship with that white man. I actually do not know his name, y'all. Let me, let me look it up. What's his name? 
Adam. His name is Adam. Adam. But yeah, the relationship with Eric and Adam, I hated it. Didn't root for it. And I hate. Oh, I'm gonna get onto Adam later. But I just. I. Mm, I don't know. Once again, I feel like they. Sh we. We saw. Actually, no. We actually saw more of Eric, his personality, his own turbulations, and all of that. So I think they did a good job on him. I can't really complain too much on Eric's character this season. It was 10 out of 10 for me. For me, and I hope that he, you know, he doesn't go to Raheem. Invite another black man onto the cast and let's have that. Okay, no more swirling. No more swir swirling. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Then the next black character we have is Vivian. That's my sister. Okay, that is my sister. This season, although the season, she was, you know... She was getting on my nerves. She was getting my on my nerves. Like, why are you such a snitch, you know? But at the same time, she was looking out for herself. And, you know, as black women, as especially dark skinned black women, you gotta look out for your damn self. And she was looking out for her, um, for her college. And I really can't fault my sister. She did what she had to do. And that's what a lot of non-black people do. Okay, that's what a lot of non-black people do, especially these characters. They look out for themselves. But all of a sudden, Vivian does it or she's a bad person. That's my sister. I do not care. She can't do no wrong to me. She can't. None of these black people can do no wrong for me. Because they're looking out for themselves because these other non-blacks aren't really looking out for them. Because, you know, anti-blackness. Child, let me. Let me relax. But, you know, I loved it. Um, I just don't understand why we didn't really see, you know, they kept talking about her boyfriend, her boyfriend, and then he only comes in the last episode. I don't understand why they did that. Why couldn't he just be there? Is he older than her? Like, what was happening? I, I didn't understand that whole plot line. I wanted to see who he was. No, I actually thought she was low-key lying about having a boyfriend. But come to find out, that nigga real. I was like, okay. And he kind of cute too. I was like, okay. Okay, Vivian. I see you. I see you. Um, But yeah, love that for my sister. Um, You know, she was kind of dick riding hope. And I was like, I understand your end goal. But you know the way you're doing it. Could be better, but could it be really? Not really. You did what you did. And when I saw the promo, I didn't even recognize, like, the actress. I was like, wait, last season, last two seasons, she was a fat black girl. Which, you know, serves as, y'all know I kind of hate representation. But, you know, I love to see it. Because there's barely any fat black girls. But this season, she, not, she lost some weight. But, you know, I'm not really faulting her or production. Like, it's just a cycle of life. But I just, oh, that's my sister right there. I really can't say much to it. We kind of saw character, did we though? Not really. I think it was like regression. Because like last season, we they talked about how she's always smart. They talked about, they talked about how she needs to, you know, let loose more often. And, you know, not be a teacher's pet. Kind of like that. Her and Jackson were discussing that, right? But it, then it felt like, you know, regression. She went back to her old ways. I thought she was progressing. I thought she was progressing, you know? But I guess, I don't know. Let's hope that they do better for my sister next time. I don't know. I want to see more of Vivian outside of academia. Like, what are her hobbies? Like, I want to know more about her outside of just school, you know? But also, Netflix, you know, they gotta... I know this show is called Sex Education. I know it is. I know. And it's supposed to, you know, teach teens safe sex because, you know... We ain't really have that, especially if you're in America. You don't really have that. But then again, it plays into this whole thing of Hollywood, you know, with their pedophile antics. Just like, oh, like I really do not want to see actors that play teens fuck on my screen. Like I don't want to see that or do any of that extra stuff. Like I really do not want to see that. And that's one of my um, critiques of these shows. Like. I don't know, maybe it could have been set in college. It could have been set in college. And you already know, high school kids are going to watch what they watch. So I'm pretty sure they would have stumbled upon it and the message would have still been received. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Okay, those are my faves. Duh. So let's move on to my last faves. I do not care for y'all. I really don't care. But let's go on to freaking Adam. Do not like him. Um, 
the fact that they really try to do a redemption arc for him, I guess it's supposed to be realistic. I, I don't know, like redemption for bullies, da, 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 da. But you know, do abusers really deserve redemption? I don't know. That's why I I get fucked up in restorative justice. I I, I just be wanting, you know, violence. I don't want peace. I want violence always. But I guess like he 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 grew he's a changed man i don't know you see the trials and tribulation of him you know trying to leave his anger become a better person same with his father um i guess i guess for a second in the last few episodes i thought him and raheem were gonna you know be a thing while eric is gone but I guess not. But I think it might happen in the next season. Because you try to see how the writers are trying to play into that chemistry kind of thing. And I was like, okay. I do not care for that. I do not care for that. Um, at least don't cheat on my brother. Don't cheat on my brother. That's all I know. Don't cheat on my brother. I don't know. I guess it was like, if we forget about, you know, him being abusive. Character development wise, it was good. It was written well. Um, I really can't complain funny moments i don't know like moving on child i don't know i do not care the next one is otis literally everybody on twitter is roasting him like people hate otis but i do not care i don't care for him like he's just like you know he's there he's annoying i don't know like he's the main character and you bore me like a lot of main characters bore me i always like side characters that's why i like eric vivian jackson cal that's why i like them but Otis is just like, nigga, you make all your own troubles. I don't know. Like, a lot of people liked um his relationship with his new girl instead of Maeve. With the, they're, like, tired of the will they, won't they kind of thing. It's like, it's been played for three seasons now. When are they gonna? You know, like, when are they gonna get together? And when they finally get together, Maeve got to go. And it's just like, how can you, you know, there's, there's just... How long can you keep rooting for something that's not really gonna, you know, happen? I I don't know. I really do not root for that. I'm rooting more for Eric to find a new nigga, Vivian and her new nigga, Kyle to find somebody, Jackson to find somebody, you know. Maeve and Otis, they're the ting now. They're the ting. Because, like, how are you supposed to, you know, root for them? It's just, like, that chemistry is kind of fizzing out now. Like, I'm over it. Like, give us something new, something different. At least with Maeve and the other boy, I was like, okay, I see it happening. And then here comes Otis. Like, damn, nigga, move around, move around. And then we have Jean, um, Otis's mom. I don't know. I feel like, is she a good therapist? Does she, you know, fuck up around? Like, you know, you not. I don't know. I feel like she, I, I actually don't know the therapist, so I, I really couldn't say much of it. But from what I see from the show, I think she a good therapist. I think she a good therapist a good mother i feel like she you know she gives her son enough you know room to explore and just be you know who he is or whatever he's a she's a good therapist i really can't say much of it but her and the relationship with her nigga that shit is off yoko that shit is off it's never gonna work yes they love each other but is it gonna work no they literally have different political views they have different views on literally everything how is that supposed to work I don't know. Y'all have to have some foundation, some common ground. And they have none of that except for lust and love. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work. In the next season, I feel like they're just going to show us how they're going to try to make it work, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's never going to work, I feel Next, like. we move on to Maeve. Maeve just screams white feminism to me. Maeve just screams white feminism to me, and it's just like, okay. Okay, and also, have y'all noticed that the black characters stick around with the black characters and the white characters stick around with the white characters? I don't know if it's intentional or intentional, but it's just something I just straight up noticed right now. Because I don't think that I've ever seen Maeve hang out with the blacks. I don't think I've ever seen Maeve hang out with the blacks, ever. Um, or have ever seen any other non-blacks except for Adam and Otis hang out with the blacks. <laughs> Child, I ain't complaining. <laughs> I ain't complaining. But Maeve, um, okay, you're smart. You broke. But it's just like, we saw that in the last two seasons. We saw that in the last two seasons. I was just hoping for more. Like, I guess they brought in the plot line of her sister being in um, foster care and her mom leaving and just trying to kidnap her and all of that. That was more of a plot line. But it was just like, okay. 
we did that in the last two seasons. I was hoping for something different. I don't know. I don't know. I was rooting for more for Maeve and Isaac to be together than Otis and Maeve to be together. I don't know. It just felt more, you know, chemistry-wise. It felt... And just, you know, just logically, it just makes sense for uh, for um, Maeve and Isaac to be together. Like he even said, they have more in common than him and Otis, than her and Otis have. I don't know. Then we have Ruby, everybody, and their mother is making her the it girl. All of a sudden, she's Alexa Demi. All of a sudden, among the, you know, Tumblr bitches, film Twitter, stands, all of a sudden, Ruby is, you know, Alexa Demi to them. She's their goddess. She's their it girl. Not for me. Um, I really don't see what y'all see because I really do not care for people like them. Um... But wow, yay, another skinny white bitch. It girl. But you know, y'all do what you do. I really do not care. Do not care for her character. It's like, oh, cold hearted bitch finds a nerdy boy, falls in love, and the nerdy doesn't, and the nerd doesn't love her. And now she's mad and back to her old ways. Wow. Wow. Like, who could who would not have seen that at the beginning of the season? Like, I knew that from jump. I knew that. Like, I was not surprised at all, and it was just like, okay, it made for entertainment, kind of, I guess. Like, it was, I was like, okay, I'm kind of entertained a bit, a bit, but it was just like, okay, now it's just boring. Now it's just boring. I don't know. Like, why is it all of a sudden Ruby is more prominent in this show? Like, why all of a sudden? I don't know. Like, why do they choose her now? I don't know. And now we get on Amy, um, Amy! I don't hate her. I don't hate her. Y'all think that I hate everybody in this cast, but Amy, I don't hate her. Like, I really want better for her. And I think she's funny. She's, you know, the comedic relief in this show. And, like, not to say that, you know, I don't know. I don't I don't want y'all to take it in, like, the wrong way. Um, I'm rooting for her. I hope she gets over her PTSD, because that, that was shitty. That was straight up shitty. I like her, I like how she's nice, you know. It's just like, good for her, you know? Like, good for her. Like, you know, like she, you know, she's, you know, we're actually kind of seeing her character development through her PTSD, learning about herself. It's just like, great, good for her. I'm, I'm you know, I'm not mad at her. And I like the way that they show um the stages of like, I don't know, is it grief? Or just the stages of, you know, um sexual assault and the trauma and just the ripple effect i love the way that they're like you know showing and just not like hiding it or just moving past that is actually like a cemented plot line into the show because it's showing how people kind of deal with it and i think that's great i think that's great then we have lily i really can't say much about her because they really her only plot line was her being an alien freak a sex alien freak i don't know all I can say is that you're a weirdo, you're a freak, but good for you. You know, what can I say? It's just like, okay, good for you. I, like, okay, people have their, you know, quirks, and I guess that's hers. And, you know, there isn't much to say about Lily because she only had one plot line throughout the whole season. Throughout the whole season. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't really tell you much. And then we have Ola. We get more of Ola background and her mother and stuff like that. I feel like she's more developed now. Um, do I care for her character? Hmm. You know? Hmm. Okay, my only thought is with Raheem in the earlier season, I thought, like, Raheem would be more prominent. Like, I felt like they would have gave him more into the show. And the only thing that they gave him was, you know... I guess him and Adam kind of hit it off, but the only thing like it's memorable <laughs> is the shit scene. Like that was that was funny. I was grossed out, but it was entertainment. Like I, it was great entertainment. Like it was funny as fuck. I just I don't know. Like that's maybe the best scene, best scene or best plot in the whole season to me. Yeah, all I can say. All I can say. Um, but I don't know. Maybe next season they give him more character. I don't know. Because I low-key am intrigued. I want to know more about him. I don't know why. But it's just like his character, his aura is just intriguing me a bit. And I want to know. I want to know more. Um, the last person I'll talk about 
is hope everybody else that i'm not mentioning they're boring as fuck i do not care and you're just side characters i'm sorry um and some of these people i do not care for them like ruby i don't know why i even talked about her but let's talk about hope miss girl miss girl the way i was ready to fight her the way i was ready to fight her like let's even touch on her infidel infertility issues like okay that's sad oh that's sad moving on <laughs> now girl uh, the way i wanted to hit her like girl th first of all this is not the 1950s i mean it kind of is because you know the same shit ain't really change but it's just like why would you do that why would you do that like the shit that she was implementing was just like what the hell but at the same time you gotta remember that a lot of places now are exactly like the stuff that the hope was trying to implement so i don't think it was that far off i don't really think that it was just that far off but it was just like you come to this progressive school and sex education is kind of progressive and then you do this bullshit and it's just like uh-uh y'all got the wrong one and then come to find out these people they closing down i really can't wait to see the next season um because i don't really want to see how they navigate themselves through all of that hopefully we you know hopefully the la the next season is in the last season because they're gonna go to uni i actually don't know how this shit in uk works i in 13th grade 12th grade i do not know um anyway every single time i saw hope and she was around black characters i already knew anti-blackness was just gonna come out of her in her mouth every single time not even out of her mouth it's just her posture her glances the way she does things was just purely anti-black every single time she talked to the black characters i want her to i wanted to pop her real bad i wanted to pop her real bad like and people had the audacity to say that there was an anti-blackness i don't know i don't know if y'all don't know what anti-blackness is or y'all just weren't watching the same show i do, I do not know i do not know but it was just like i guess hope was a great plot line, was a great um character and it served a purpose in the show because if hope wasn't there i feel like there wouldn't have been much to do like i feel like they kind of escalated you know not escalated they you know pushed up their game from the last season because it was actually interesting the whole plot line with hope and trying to see what other fucked up shit she's gonna introduce it was entertaining i'm sorry i hated her but it was entertainment that's all i gotta say that's all i gotta say um but yeah overall that's all i have to say if i have other thoughts i'll edit it in i'm sure um if you guys have any thoughts on my takes or your own takes comment them down below i'm interested to hear them make sure you subscribe if you have not i'm really trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of this year um but yeah anyways make sure you give it a like that'd be super dope <laughs> Uh, oh my god, I sounded like a valley girl. Oh my god. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys next time.